I'm going to check on the girls because I hope I'm overreacting, honestly. But I'd be lying if I if I'd say that I'm not a little scared, and I'll show you why. It's been raining and muddy, and everyone seems fine. Everyone's eating, but I'm gonna have to keep an eye on them for the next week, especially knowing that they're pregnant because it happened again and I am so sad because if there's one thing I don't like is, you know, committing the same mistakes more than once. Hello, big mama girl. You too, you're a big mom, but you're not as big as your CC. No, 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 you're not. I've been moving hay, so I'm a mess right now. Hello, Briar. Are you doing okay? You wanna talk about it? You wanna talk about it, Kaya? They're gonna make me look like a liar now. Look at them being sweet. Look at them being so sweet. And me complaining in the other video that they were just hormonal and also mean. Between the cud, everything seems fine. So let me show you why I'm kind of freaking out. It's such an overcast day that I don't know if you'll be able to see. It seems like you can see it in the phone. But yesterday we got our hay. It was raining. So we were in a hurry. I checked every single bale of grass hay. Just so last night we were putting the hay in. And I typically put the alfalfa in this wheelbarrow. Um, it makes it easier for me to grab like a flake when I come at night and give it to them. Um, and they can't reach. So they, even if they want to, uh, they can't reach. So comes nighttime. I'm trying to get my thoughts together. So we put this in. It comes nighttime. And uh, I didn't check this one bell because it's alfalfa it was protected in a double barn situation where there's like this smaller area inside a big barn a huge barn and this smaller area is huge and i didn't check this one bell so i come at night i give them two flakes i broke my own rule of not checking because well i did check but it was nighttime and I was checking with my flashlight, which is not great at showing anything, but look at that. That is mold. And I check everything right now and the inside, it's perfect. It's just this corners. If you look at them, it's the corners. Uh, you can see it there. Let me get out of the light. You can see it there. You can see it there. You can see it there. A little bit less. Um, on this corner, look. Uh, what are you looking at? You're looking at... Uh, let me see if I can point it. Like this right here. That's mold. That's not dirt. I put this one on top. Can you see it? That's mold. That's mold. That's mold. How does alfalfa look when it's not moldy? Well, on the outside, which is this, it looks like this. And you see how it's green and yellow and all kinds of different brown colors, but it's not black like that. And I honestly didn't want to make this video, number one, because I'm heading out to work. And number two, because I'm exposing myself with these videos and how stupid I am, apparently. Who um, had this experience once and still is going through another one of these experiences. I don't want to move it too much. I'm going to take it back. But can you see it over there? That's not dirt. It looks like dirt. That's not dirt. Um, this in this corner, I removed it to check if there is mold inside. 
there's no mold inside it's just in the corners on the sides and it's probably the this is probably the side that was at the bottom friends this is me i look like I need to change before going to work. I'm full of hay and I'm pissed. There, I said it. I am pissed. And myself, mostly. Um, this is one of the things that, you know, it kind of all goes connected. So I'm going to try to make a series of connections. To make we live in Oregon. We live in the Oregon coast. And so we don't get snow and we don't get a lot of things that Eastern Oregon get but we have a lot of humidity and we have a lot of rain so because of that the problem that we are having is keeping things dry and I rather pay a little bit more for my hay and buy them in no more than 50 bells because I don't have the perfect conditions and where I buy the hay they have dehumidifiers and they have them stacked inside a barn and that way I know that it's the most fresh you know local hay that is kept under perfect I don't know if perfect but you know the, but the best that they can environment to make sure that they don't have mold because of that i don't buy a lot of hay and i buy a little by little i don't buy more than one alfalfa bell at a time because what happens is since alfalfa it has more moisture it absorbs moisture faster and it spoils so much faster so because of that i go every two weeks and get enough for the two weeks and that means one alfalfa bell does that mean that it couldn't have gotten wet before they went into the barn? That's a possibility. And I didn't check the alfalfa while I was at this farmer's place because it was raining. So once I got here, I checked it with a flashlight because it was dark already. After 4.30, it's pitch dark. You know, it's just one of those things that you're like, I love the Pacific Northwest. There's, there's nothing I can tell you that I don't like about living here. I love that it rains. I love that we have grass green nine months out of the year we don't have to irrigate it we don't have to do much I love that sometimes even my garden I don't have to water it much I love that I can use mulch and keep it moist I just love everything but I've been having the hardest time keeping the hay under control and it kind of ties down to something I I took a local course uh, about uh, miscarriages in goats and I took a course about nutrition in goats locally with our extension county extension I, I don't know what it's called and I just you know I have all this information in my head and yet I'm human and I just make mistakes so what this mean is that I'm gonna have to keep an eye on this girls for the next week if they consume anything that it had a little bit of mold it's, it's likely not going to be everyone because it's just this bit of mold in the corners and the chances of them eating it are low because they did have a lot so if there's something that they don't like they're not going to eat it they're going to waste it they're going to let it down on the ground sleep on it pee on it pooped on it okay so I do know that there is a small chance that they ate that and that my pregnant girls ate that and that is really what is upsetting me so much to the point that I'm willing to look like this on camera <laughs> but I guess I'm gonna try to do a series of videos and or maybe clips and add it in different videos throughout the week and we'll go through it together so hopefully this will be informative for somebody out there looking for this information I'm part of goat groups on Facebook and everyone is like, how do I know if I have mold in my hay? Um, they probably don't have it because if they did, they could smell it. If you know what mold smells like, it's not sneaky, you can smell it. If you smell every <laughs> side of your bell, you can tell if there's something on the surface that it's bad or moldy. Um, People are like, I don't know what mold looks like. Well, sometimes it has spurs and it looks like hair, but sometimes it doesn't. It just has black. That's pretty much what comes. My 
Armist Dyer, that's pretty much what comes after the black mold that is in the hay. So, I know there's going to be a lot of people that it's going to bash me and hate that I did that because I had Rocky go through listeriosis this year um, while I was out of town and somebody was feeding and didn't know what mold looked like and, you know, kids. So it's, you know, I know better. I know better. So believe me, I'm my worst critic. I hate myself for not knowing or for not doing the homework. I should have just fed the grass hay for one night and look at the alfalfa in the morning with whatever light it's out because it's overcast and dark, but it would have been, I mean, I'm able to see it right now. Join me, I guess, for the next week as I check on them and hopefully I have no symptoms to report. Hopefully they're just fine. They're great. I'm overreacting, which I typically do. But I love my animals so much that I just can't bear the thought of not being on top of things. And that's basically my anxiety talking right now because, yeah, that's worst case scenarios always in my head. What am I going to do when this happens or if this happens? So what are the signs that I'm going to be looking for? Somebody that is off feed or somebody that is staying on the side, something like that. Um, Annabelle's girls are down there. That is Ava. Look at that belly girlfriend. That is Aria right there. Briere, Gaia, Annabelle. My little black boy, who is a cute little boy, Athene. They're all eating, they're all fine. But they ate this last night, so I'm, I'm concerned. You guys keep eating, be healthy, be happy, be smart. Let me show you one more thing. Okay, so every time I find something that is moldy, see, this is moldy, hey, welcome. It stinks, it smells horrible. Uh, this is part of the moldy hay that I found in one corner and I thought, well, it fell on the ground. See, and it looks perfectly fine. But then as it was built, like it was, it was compressed, you could see the mold in it. Now you can't see it. But this is my moldy hay pile. It's basically just on top of a few um, branches, limbs, I don't know what you call them from the tree from the trees and i just been putting that on top in the hopes to leveling a little bit so the inclination is not as deep but look at this i mean always 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 on top of hay and mold and things because as i am feeding them there it's easy i mean the rain messes things up but as i'm feeding and putting hay inside the feeders hay falls on the ground it stays they there for more than 24 hours and it's moldy so instead of leaving it there to continue to grow mold that is going to stink i sweep and i rake in there once a week I put everything in bags and so I don't drag it out and then they eat something that is moldy. Although they're pretty smart, they won't eat anything that is moldy that is, you know, coming out of the house like straw. But I immediately come through here through the fence and I drop it here. Like I am hyper aware of mold. And this is because we live here. We've been buying more quantities of hay now that we have more girls. And of course, there's going to be some spoilage. Um, so we'll, we'll check on that. Oh, somebody's fighting. Are you okay, mama? What happened? Who is bullying you? Better not be you, Gaia. Go inside, sweet girl. You can go eat. Go by your mom. Go, yeah, find your mom. Where's your mom? Where is she, Arya? Go find her. Go find your mom. She'll protect you. I hate to come when it's nap time. 
to your goats, get nap time. This one, when it's raining, they just love to take naps. I'm gonna put a little bit more hay and check on everyone. It's about three. Oh, you're looking big, mama. Oh, she's looking over here. Where were you taking a nap? <laughs> Look at Anna and her girls. It's nap time, I'm sorry. Did you guys drop some hay there to sleep warmer? Hi, Clara. Don't you dare scare me. Hi, Ethan. You just tired, sweet girl? Okay. I'm gonna get more hay. Hi. You look good. You look extra, extra fat, young lady. Ooh, this is a very cute belly. Hey, how's it going? Oh, oh, get out, you little thingy. I'm telling you, nap time is a real thing here. Have I mentioned I love naps? Is that where you guys get it from? Look at this. <laughs> I think her deal is that she's not t as deep as Gaia, so she looks more chunky. I'm hoping she doesn't have like a giant single in the belly. I'm hoping there are multiples, smallers in great position. I'm sorry that I woke you up from your nap. I'm sorry. Do you guys forgive me? How are you doing? Let me see that nose. Oh, it's clean. Let me see your nose. It's clean. Let me see your nose. Oh, it looks good. You guys are so cute. So cute. Be back later, okay?